In this video, we're going to discuss about uh, um, we're going to discuss why most people fail at uh, day trading. Uh, well, when it comes to money, uh, most people fail at day trading because they don't they have unrealistic um, expectations. Uh, they don't have the data. Uh, when you have a data of how how you know 500 stocks perform in the past, I mean you have a very a good expectations of what they're going to do. Uh, past history is not always the same, but if nine out of ten stocks did the same thing for the last three years, you're going to expect you know th that pattern to repeat. It's not you know, I mean um, most people most people fail because they don't get the data they just uh, fail before even trying before even having a chance you got to understand that uh, a lot of people do want uh, your money uh, the broker wants your money which they loan out and in, uh, in uh, loans um, they uh, I mean um, the company wants the money they want to dilute their share stock and they want to get it as high as possible so they can sell these shares that they create out of thin air um, then you have um, you know th the the spread the market makers want to take your money there's guys on the ask and the guys on the bid doing 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 millisecond trades uh, that is when when the stocks get more liquid in the mid cap or uh, there's algorithmic out there I mean there's millions of ways that um, that uh, things are stacked against you and there's also, I mean, you don't know much what you're doing. I mean, the Bitcoin boom, everything went up. And in the, you know, marijuana boom, every single marijuana company went up. And then when, and and in the, now, now we were in a tech boom, you had every single technology stock that went up. So right now, we're, we're kind of like in a place where the technology stocks have pretty much popped. Like you have these lead technology stocks like Amazon, from 220 down to like 80 you got like netflix from like 700 to like 200 i mean you you see the trend here you have um apple has not popped yet but it's just a matter of time till that one pops too um you have um amazon facebook you have a, a lot of big tech companies just coming in down that's the reason for this uh first bear market that we had in 15 years and uh, a lot of people are not ready for that I mean, if you study history, the crash of 1929, which I recommend you guys to read, is a very interesting book of um, the crash of 1929. That's what I do in my free time. My free time, I like to download audible books and uh, get myself centered and be able to execute. Um, and it's, it's a full time job. So in the crash of 1929, you can listen to that, that, uh, you know, if I were going to Oh, if I were gonna cite something, somebody it would probably be the rebel capitalist George Cannon or something that I was looking for. Anyway, so I read the book, The Crash of 1929, and uh, I mean, people were so depressed of their portfolio that they didn't want to open their portfolio to see how much they're down this year, and that's kind of like what's happening right now with the crypto market. Um, I mean, they're they're really down. I mean, you had some some nfts up i don't know from like a dollar to like five hundred dollars and back to two dollars so there's there has been a little bit more down than usual so uh the reason that they fail is because um they're not active day traders they're investors and invest and investing in a you know in something is not really good long term you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and the reason I picked small caps and OTCs is because I can predict, you know, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen next week. I don't know what's going to happen next month. I just know that today, right now, this stock, after it breaks this level, is going to go up 10, 20, 30 uh, percent. That's what I know. So that is the reason um, why most people fail. A lot of people try to predict more than they're, you know, more than they can nobody can predict the future and if you go to any i mean i had periods in time in which i went to like some uh, oracle that can predict my future and i'm telling you some of them were right some of them were dead wrong and nobody can predict the future the future is unwritten that's why it's called the future um i mean they can see uh what's going to happen in your future based on what's happening in your present 
they can like i don't know meditate into outer space and levitate and put a crap load of incense and go into a deep dive into the future i mean totally possible i mean jesus i guess he saw the future that um that he was going to get what he got and then he agreed to it so it's totally possible seeing the future don't get me wrong it's just the i mean how many jesus do you see walking around <laughs> telling you where the stock market is gonna go <laughs> not that many right because you because they're not gonna tell you so the most people fail is because i mean they have unusual expectations they they pretty much um um watch some movie uh get inspired uh watch this guy have a lambo uh watch uh, the wolf of wall street and they think that i mean it's just gonna happen for them the sad the, the sad truth is that most of you guys are just gonna fail uh that's the sad truth and if you do not study your data and you don't know what you're getting yourself into and um you're you're likely going to fail i mean the top trader of the world i think it was tim Grittani, dude uh, he didn't even make money the first year and a half and he turned like 10,000 into I don't know like five six million dollars the guy the guy didn't make any money the first year and a half so you think you're gonna start out and put it all on red or black and it's gonna work out every single time eventually it's just not gonna you know your your luck is gonna run out and that usually this luck runs out in like you know uh, in a bear market and most people's luck has run out because um, you know there's not that much liquidity I mean stocks as they go up I mean they create a bigger momentum as more people make money there's more liquidity there's more investors and there's you know uh, you know a, a bigger snowball that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger like this right now the snowball is kind of like really tiny snowball like really tiny like you have a couple traders every single day and this this snowball as we get from a bear market and we transition to a bullish market is just going to get bigger 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 next you know you have a huge gigantic snowball of money that is just needs a location to put it so that's kind of how my job is my job is to identify where this uh, snowball is going to go and the bigger the snowball i mean the more uh, opportunities you're gonna get so right now there's the snowball is like this big so that's why I do these videos to get you to understand um, what you're getting yourself into not saying you're gonna you know make a million dollars but we're definitely uh, I mean it's definitely possible I mean I I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be uh, um, the, the million dollar thing I have no um, a lot of people put a label of you know how much you know you're worth the amount of money you make I really don't really think that I think um, I think you're worth as um, you're, you're worth um, you're I mean you gotta I don't think that you know the, the money thing putting a label how much everybody makes I mean it's very discouraging um, you shouldn't do that um, I, I do value integrity in people uh good-hearted um you know good intentions uh clean karmas <laughs> uh you know willing to do the hard work and get where they need to go but as far as you know putting a label and um and uh trying to put a number on everybody's uh you know face like this guy is worth five million this guy is worth one million this guy is worth five hundred thousand i mean i mean we we still live in a democratic capitalism country so i mean does the regular guy have any chance anymore <laughs> since everybody just goes to the millionaire and pays him for his services i mean you be the judge of that uh but i i personally uh like how i personally do my best uh, point out opportunities and uh, profit which i have been every single day from one single opportunity and that is just uh there's just enough the, that's done enough. but most people lose money because um, they're trying to do too much I would have to say most people lose money because they try to do too much try to predict too much and there's nobody knows the stock market can go up can go down I had a friend in which um, I mean he really thought that Bitcoin is gonna do you know the second time it hits 60,000 is just gonna keep going I saw I thought so too but I wasn't really want to bet my money on it so he bet his money and I'm like 
well, I don't know. It could or could not. I can't predict where it's going to go. And he, he bet everything and kind of lost. So, I mean, nobody knows. Nobody knows. This is, I mean, Bitcoin came from like, I don't know, two, I don't know, 3,000 up to 60,000. So it already went 20 times your money. Um, so it's technically overbought. So, you know, the reason people uh, lose money is that, but, but the point is that that setup, buying a stock up from like 3,000 up to 60,000 and you think it's going to keep going, the probability of that working out is very small. It's like, it's like that, that trade shouldn't have happened because, um, I mean, anything's possible in the stock market. But, you know, if you have a, you know, 5% chance of your parachute deploying when you jump out of airplane, would you take that trade? I don't know. There's, there's, there's been some times in which I did take that trade uh, because there was 5% of 5% probability that that would, that, that thing would work. But. I mean, you you probably shouldn't, should you? So that's why you study data. That's why you study price action. That's why you watch the market. That's why you rebuild spreadsheets, and the, and it's very time consuming and boring. But it kind of for me, it's kind of like uh, it's getting me chilled out. I come from a background which I'm very good at math, uh, very good at data analysis, very good at feeling the stock i guess feeling the stock is probably going to be uh the number one thing and um i i come from a background from a lot of computers i had um i had a computer when i was five years old so i used to play like starcraft i think uh starcraft one uh six eight six or something the first computer that ever came out so i come from a background that's pretty computer based math related i used to go to competitions in math and um chess math chess and computers those are my strong points and that's why i'm able to uh pretty much pick the best ones <laughs> so the reason people fail is because um um it's just lack of knowledge um lack of knowledge knowledge uh, you know, as you as you mature and you get older, you realize that you know a lot of things that you were taught are plain lies, and um, you have to recognize that what's important for you is you know making profit right now, not what you know, not what the Republicans or the Democrats or the girlfriend or the guy friend is going to promise you a year from now. The time is now. The time is. You know, right now to make money is not tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day. And then tomorrow becomes today today. So you have to do the best you can today. And because tomorrow is just another day. So um, the reason why people fail, because they have unrealistic expectations. They're, they're not well equipped to deal with both the bear market or the bull market. Um, I, I do recommend reading The Crash of 1929. That was a that was a great book. That was a great book. You had people throwing themselves off buildings when the stock market crashed, and um, I I tried I I stay on the sane side of things because you know there's been months of which I did not make any money or sometimes years, and uh, you know it affected a little bit my self esteem. So you have to stay sane throughout the ups and the downs and. Um, and be able to recognize and be logical in a very illogical environment where stock move very emotionally. So that's about it, guys. This is the this is my uh, reason for uh, this is why most people fail at day trading. But you know, you're watching this video, you're listening to me talk. Uh, you're doing the work. You're at least uh, having somebody pinpoint these. Um, these things to you because most people just want to jump in with their brokerage account just want to click buy and then they want to turn their 2k 5k account in a 50k account in just three months so um they'll probably you know maybe you could do that in a very good market and if you have a really good win streak but but can you keep that money <laughs> throughout and be rich <laughs> throughout the whole time so this is why I think most people trade money, lose money. Other than that, you guys have a good one.
and peace out.